So I just wanted to kind of sit down and discuss today um, a question that I have been asking myself a lot this last week, and that is, what's going to be my story to tell in 2019? And um, basically, what did I learn in 2018 that I can apply to this new year? And also, what kind of struggles did I face that can be learned from and that can be taught to somebody else? And honestly, it's sad. Um, a lot of people think that they don't have a story to tell, or they think that their story is too small. Um, they think that because they haven't gone through uh, a big enough of, you know, a struggle, or that they haven't gone through a significant circumstance, that they can have an impact on this world, and that is honestly so far from the truth. Honestly, it's okay to have a small testimony. It's okay to have a small story. You know, you don't have to have a big rock. You can have a little rock. Ask David when he fought Goliath and he slayed him. You can fight giants with a small rock as long as you know how to throw it. And, uh, you know, you don't have to go through something like a crazy drug addiction or um, you don't have to, you know, have gone to prison to have some kind of story to tell this world and to help other people. You know, whatever you've been through, there's power in your story. You know, my brand individuals were all about embracing who you are as an individual and um, taking those things that make you unique and using them to impact the world. Um, as a brand, one of the things that one of our mottos is, you know, we are the teachers. We are the ones that are deciding to rise above and we're choosing to love. We're choosing to help. We're choosing to teach the next man. If I had to be honest with you guys, you know, just being totally transparent here, uh, one of the things that I've been dealing with the last couple of years um, is trying to please everyone, trying to make everyone happy, trying to make everyone like me. And um, there's been countless of times where I've tried to explain myself to haters and, and, to, and to people that don't like me. And, and you know, there's been countless, countless times where I've tried to explain myself and explain who I really am. And every time I did this, honestly, it just got me so off track of my purpose and what I was, what what, what I'm supposed to be doing. You know, it, it's got me so off focus of the things that I should be focusing on and the things that I should be putting first priority in my life. And so one thing that I've had to remember and what I encourage you guys to do is is to remember that happiness comes from within. You cannot base your happiness off of what other people think about you. You can't waste time on people that are committed to misunderstanding you and that are already committed to hating you and, and to disliking you. Once they've made up their mind about you, that is it. It, you know, most people, they don't like to change. They don't like to have to, you know, rethink their thought process. You know, they don't want to take the time to really understand other people. You know, they, they don't want to shift their thinking process. You know, they're just, they, they, they don't care. Simple as that. Even if you were Spider-Man himself and you saved a bus full of kids, they're still going to try to find a way to put you down. They're still going to, you know, try to find a way to convince themselves that you're a bad person. So why waste time? on people that are committed to misunderstanding you. Why waste time on trying to prove yourself? It's just a time waster. And these people, these haters, they will never stop. The more you go up in life, the more the haters are gonna follow you, and the more haters you're going to have. You know, new, with new levels comes new devils. And so if you can't handle the, those haters now, then there's no way you're gonna be able to handle them later on. So do you. Be your own individual. Stay focused on what you need to do. Create your own story. Impact someone else's life with your testimony. And if people don't agree with it and they don't agree with you, that's their problem. But the second you start caring what other people think, then it becomes your problem. And you're wasting your time fighting demons that you don't even need to face. So do what you love and do it hard. I was just talking to my barber yesterday. We had a conversation and he said he's going to be taking 2019 and he... You know, he's going to really ded dedicate himself to playing hard, man. It's all about playing hard, you know, and that's what you really love, you know, playing and doing what you love, but doing it hard, you know, going all out, hitting those goals, hitting those milestones. 2019, you guys, it's, it's, it's great, you know, it's, it's a great thing. It's, it's, every start of the new year is, is honestly, it's an awesome time because you can recreate yourself, you can reimagine yourself, you can, you can change, you can shift your way of thinking. However, I do encourage you guys, when that those year comes and those struggles, you know, when you start facing them, you know, don't don't give up. If you don't like who you are, and you don't like who you're becoming, if you don't like 
or if you don't even like something about yourself. Change it then. Change it now. Don't wait. Don't put it off for 2020. You know? Don't wait till that date, you know. Wait till that big event where you need to change something. No. Change it now. Change it. Who you want to be. If you want to change something, change now. Don't wait for a specific date and a big event. Life's too short, man. It's, it's too short to put off who you want to be. Life is too short to be worrying about the thoughts of ignorant people. Move forward. Be like a racehorse with its blinders on it, your eyes on the prize. Yeah, the lion may roar, but we see his leash. Bounce back when you get like that. No, when you are weak, not the God is strong. God is always strong. Don't focus on your pain. Focus on your purpose. And every defeat or every failure that you face, take it as a learning experience. Remember, you only win or you learn, but you never lose. And once you try your best, once you put yourself out there and you give it everything you got, let God handle the rest. And with that